Dear friends, this is Prithviraj from Bangalore connecting with you once again through this short message on Persistence in Prayer. In Matthew 7, 7 and 8, we read that, Ask and it shall be given to you. Seek and you shall find. Knock and it shall be opened to you. For everyone that asks receives, and he that seeks finds, and to him that knocks, it shall be opened. These verses are well known to most of us. Does this passage convey that God will give us anything we ask in prayer? Is this an open promise with no conditions? Is God obligated to give us whatever we ask in prayer. If we take these verses out of context, it would convey that we would get whatever we ask in prayer. But we have to understand the verses in their immediate context and in the context of teachings on prayer in the whole Bible. Reading these verses along with Love on the verse of the same chapter would mean that what we ask must be good in God's estimation. Thus we are told to ask and seek those things that are in line with the will of God. Here the emphasis is on the persistence in prayer to ask and keep on asking, to seek and keep on seeking, to knock and to keep on knocking. Asking suggests dependence. Seeking suggests earning. And knocking suggests persistence. Theologian Lawrence O. Richards explains these verses as follows. Jesus describes prayer as asking, seeking and knocking. Ask is the act of prayer in its simplest form. Seek conveys intensity and earnest sincerity. And knock pictures persistence. We ask what we wish. We seek what we miss. And we knock believing that the shut doors will be opened. All these efforts need faith diligence and persistence. The earnestness, diligence and perseverance we need in prayer are highlighted here. From 1 John 5, 14 and 15 we learned that prayers offered according to His will will bring answers. So, we have to pray according to His will. In John 16, 24, it is conveyed that what we ask in the name of Jesus will be given. This means that we have to pray for things that would be approved by Jesus. From Matthew 21-22, we learn that we will receive whatever we ask believing. This conveys that we have to pray in faith. John 15, 7 clarifies that if we remain in Christ and His words remain in us, then we will receive whatever we ask in prayer. This suggests that our fellowship with Christ is an important factor to get answers for our prayers. Reading James 1, 6 to 8, 1 John 5, 14, Luke 18, 1 to 18, Hebrew 10, 22 reveal that we have to pray in faith according to the will of God, sincerely and persistently. In Isaiah 55, 8 and 9, we read that God's ways are not our ways. God is not obligated to say yes to our every request. We may not always understand His will or his timing. At times, 